Or it's the Gas Mask Tribe podcast where we like to filter out that bull. Out of a motherfucker be from LA to go out there and do your thing and mm-hmm. petition, that had to feel uh, like really good. Like yo, I made it somewhat. Like okay, I'm, I'm doing what I love to do. Do you know what I feel? Everyone, Everybody's you know what love of success <clears throat> is their own, right? I don't understand what my level of success was until I really got in the trenches. You know how you don't really know how to swim until you really swim? Until somebody drop you in that yeah. swim. Right. Yeah. You, know so you, I mean? better, you better kick yeah. them legs And that's feet. what it felt like. It wasn't yeah. about the money. But you know what? You also made history, though, because you said that you were the first performer, right? I was the first yeah. black performer that's that they allowed in the fucking town since the 60s. That's dope. You that? So you made history, stage. period. What? Yeah. You want to perform in our town? Since the 60s, we didn't even allow your color here. And, and now you want to come here and perform? Oh, you got me. Like, so all that old money that keeps the town rich, you yeah. know what I mean? Because the old money that keeps that town rich. Okay. Yeah. You know I mean? They have no fucking casino in the town. Yes, yeah, the old money that keeps the town moving. Go yeah. on. At that time, did you feel the impact on that? Or you're like, man, fuck that. I'm just going to perform. They're they going to make this shit happen. Did you feel the impact? Like, no, okay, I didn't feel I'm about the, to perform. You know what? I didn't, town. bro. Mm. I tell you. I, this. I, I bet. My no. first show I had up there. Before I even dealt with the KKK mentality and shit, yeah. my first time performing up there, they paid me two hundred fifty dollars, right? Okay. People say that ain't no money, right? And shit. I sold all my merchandise. That's when Damn. I knew I had a market. Right. I made over over fifteen hundred in merchandise right. sales in one day. In one night. Ooh, damn, shit. That's bro. Good. Over with man, high five two times, bro. Boom boom. I've never you know sold that much merchandise. Dude. I, it's a comedy. I got stand ovations and then we got that much money. Dude, merchandise. We, you know? well, you have to look at units, right? You have to look how many yeah. units you bring and how much those units is worth. You know right. what I mean? So I, I mean, how many people was out there told watching? Bro, my first freaking night I performed there, I had sixty people at the spot. Only sixty? Bro, sixty people sold out. And, and you made fifteen hundred dollars on sixty of, people. Think about it. How often do they get his See, kind of swag? Had, no, no, how what? often do they get that kind of swag over there? Yeah, because the, the, the white girls want some black dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Black dick. But no, no, how much no, you sell your shit for? Fifteen hundred. Check. Fifteen hundred. You must sell your shit like a no. hundred dollars a shirt, nigga. Nah, like, nah. Like, nah. It's only about fifteen twenty dollars. Come on, come on, bitch. Fifteen hundred dollars in one night, bro. Fifteen hundred in one night. It's about thirty bucks per person. Check this out. Think about it. Think no, about bro, this. you go sell it. Okay. Uh, so you you know, selling way more expensive than that. I just want to tell how, you something. We know how that goes. <laughs> Look, I just want to tell you something. Okay. Now, <laughs> the the fans would tell me what my price was. My price was normally five. And they uh, said, oh, this 30? Or, oh, this is... Right, the fans said, hell no. Uh, bro, I'm telling you, my prices, I never set them. The fans set them. I, the fans, the people would set your price, bro. That's dope. They will let you know if you charge you too low for this, if it's that valuable. Why? Okay. Because, uh, uh, unless they black folks. Okay, you got a point. There. I ain't paying all that for that shirt. <laughs> oh, oh, well, you got a point there. Can you I ain't got one. Get one free. You ain't got no okay. small. So what I, I end up? <laughs> so what I end up doing? I need a large. Give me a sleeve. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so what I end up? I'm gonna go wear it one time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I end up learning the market up there, right? I learned the market of yeah. people were. Uh, I learned that they didn't have a casino, and I also learned that with the bands that I was performing with that I came up here with, we was getting chippers. They was paying me 150, maybe 200 a show to perform uh-huh. in this little town just as a drummer. So I said, okay, well, I just built up my own little fan base, which I already yeah. had just from playing the drummer. People would come to my show just to see me play drums, yeah, not even to see it. me rap. Yeah. And that scared me because I didn't have to do anything. I just had to show up and play drums. That scared the freak out of me because that was power to me. That was like, I can literally say and do whatever I freaking want long as I play drums. That's scary. Me just giving you my story and rapping, that was just a part of the whole story, right? Right, right. So anyway, people would literally show up just from seeing me perform as the rapping drummer with these other bands. So and that was big in that small town. And they no the one that, that set yeah. the price 